No media star is hotter right now than Richard Sherman. Talking about the reception that he's likely to get from advertisers here in New York is his agent, Jamie Fritz. Thanks for coming in, Jamie. Thank you for having me. I'm the best corner in the game. When you try me with a sorry receiver like Crabtree, that's the result you're going to get. I know you were saying that you were having conversations with advertisers even before Sunday night's game. Has the interest increased since that play and since the interview? Well, twofold. Uh, I think the the interest and the noise that we've been making all year about Richard to the brand managers uh, have certainly reached out. We're also reaching out. We're not waiting for the phone to ring. So we are actively pounding the concrete, as we like to say. But yes, we do have some new players who have come to the table and are starting those conversations. Has anyone been scared away? Has anyone who you were talking to kind of backed <clears throat> off because they weren't interested in someone who was kind of edgy, kind of controversial? You know, the, I've only had a couple conversations where there was some concern, okay? And, and I think that now we've seen this thing turn and, and people are now stepping back and saying, okay, here's a guy that was in the heat of the moment. What were your first thoughts when you were watching the interview beyond being proud of the play and beyond being thrilled that he and the Seahawks were heading for the Super Bowl? Was your first thought, Jay, he's making my job tougher or easier to, to well, sell him? My first thought was, wow, what an amazing play. I said, he just put his team in the greatest sporting event on this planet, most watched. Maybe not greatest, but to me it is. <laughs> um, so that was my first thought. And then the interview happened, and what went through my mind was, this is all anybody's going to talk about or think about, and nobody's going to actually think about the play. And that's what was my initial thought. Were you surprised by the backlash that happened immediately on social media? I think we all were. I think that, you know, especially a lot of the race comments, uh, this is 2014, uh, and I'm sorry, but there's no place for some of the things that were shot at him. The comments made was totally inappropriate. It, what cracks me up is we're, we're talking about the fans that are, you know, the beer drinking, the uh, hoorah, rooting for these guys to go tear each other's heads off, right? Like this is the demographic that has a problem with this. Uh, my only thing with that is this generation would never be able to deal with Muhammad Ali if that's the case. <laughs> Some of the attention that's followed the interview have, have told the fuller story of, of Richard Sherman. He's the Stanford graduate who, in his final year of eligibility, started working on a master's degree. Right. He was a high school salutatorian. In, in, a, in a way, is the rant kind of helped get that more positive image out there indirectly well, it, it, it certainly has and the thing is is richard is so amazing off the field with his charitable work students with a goal uh is the swag campaign where he goes in and he talks to kids about creating their own opportunities if you set your goals as it pertains to education you can write your own story and so when you look at that body of work and what he's doing with the richard the blanket coverage the richard sherman family foundation it's very impressive and so yes this rant is certainly bringing a lot of attention to all of the good work that he does do off the field.